7 o'clock tonight, Home and Away. At 7.30, Home Improvement. And at 8 o'clock, King of the Hill. Then at 8.30, live from Perth, the World Swimming Championships. brain caps and wrap your laughing gear around your face. Well, that's not a real good look. This is a show about speed against time. So prepare to move your eyes in all directions at once. That's not a real good look either. But this is James Sherry! Like at the ballet, you know, and the ballerina at the end, she takes the big bow and puts the arms out like this, and everyone just throws roses. Can't breathe Thanks. the real one. Well, anyway, the set spick and span. Oh, flashy, dashy new clothes, and uh, here are our players. Hi, my name's Tim Clark. I like football, and I'm outrageous. Hi, my name's Colin Warns, and I like playing softball. <laughs> How do you think someone being outrageous is going to fit into the Navy? I don't know. You don't know. Why do you want to go no. into the Navy? Because I like computers and I want to do computers. Right. And the Navy's a good place to learn? Yeah. Why? Oh, because they teach you really good skills and that. Right. Okay. Now, a very interesting thing that you have. It's not a skill. It's just... Mm. It's a thing. Yeah. Tell us about it. Oh, well, I've got two bent pinkies and so does my dad. Wow, so it's like an inherited thing. Yeah. Now, let's have a look at this pinky. It is seriously bent there. It's probably, yeah. what, a 15, 20 degree, and it doesn't straighten. It, no. it's, that's how they were from day dot? Yep, it's just there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is the Navy going to have a problem with that when you do the medical? I don't oh, sorry, think so. mate, you got bent pinkies, can't come to the Navy. <laughs> no. No? Okay, good. Well, good luck with that. And Lynn, short for Carlin. Yeah. Do you like the name Carlin? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, well, it's mine. <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm stuck with it. Where did it come from? Uh, my mum's best friend and her, my mum's name. Right, your mum's name is? Linda. Right, that's the Lynn part. And yep. your best mum's best friend? It's Karen. Karen, so... But they oh, right, it's yeah. Car. Yeah. Car. Yeah. yeah, got it. OK. Uh, you had a dream about being in Lolly Land. <laughs> yeah. Where's Lolly Land? In my dreams. In your dreams. <laughs> and what did you do in Lolly Land? I did lollies. Yeah, the whole place was made of lollies? The whole so place. It's sort of the Hansel and Gretel type thing. Yeah. <laughs> cool. OK. Stay awake today. All right. Good luck to both of you. Here's the opposition. Hi, I'm Lisa Cooley. I enjoy tennis and netball and I'm having a great time. Hi, I'm Thomas Wegener. I like playing soccer and computer games. Well, you're going to do well today then. Tom's a bit of a dancer too. He uh, he does the moonwalk. Is that right, Tom? Yeah. We might get a demonstration of that later. Tell us when you did uh, the big performance. Oh, I did a moonwalk at our school musical. What was the show called? Um, Paul with from Paul with love. From do you, do you remember the name? From Paul with love. Yeah. Okay. And uh, why did you have to do the moonwalk? Um, because there was a, a song. Yeah. And they had dance moves in, and I had to do the moonwalk. Right in front of how many people? Lots. Yeah, did you feel good? Like, lots of clapping and everything? Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Melissa. Yeah. Well, I've never heard that name before. Do you know where it came from? Um, Italy. Italy? Ireland, sort of. Ireland. Italy or Ireland? Both of them. Both. Yeah. Melissa. Okay, cool. You've had an interesting dream too. Not about lollies, but about... Monsters on our clothesline. Monsters on the clothesline. What were they doing on your clothesline? Swinging on them. Right. Do you think, um, do you think dreams have messages? Yeah. yeah. What's the message coming from that? That I shouldn't swing on the clothesline. Right. Would you like to look straight down that camera and tell your mum that you'll never swing on the clothesline I'll again? I'll never swing on the clothesline again. Right. And if she ever does, you write to us here. We'll sort her out. Um, good luck to both of you today. You are playing for Grace Lutheran and you guys are playing for Vienna Woods. Good luck. This is the last day. Here's the scoreboard. Not much in it at all. 113 points. <laughs> so basically... Whoever goes looking for keys today is going to take away the major prize. That's pretty much the scenario that we have, so best of luck to all four players here. We start once again, fifth time in the row. Grace Lutheran get the first time zone question. Good luck with the coins, huh? Good luck with this also. It's a what am I? I am a thing with eight letters, 90 seconds on the clock. 
Your time starts now. I am used to carry things. Many hikers... You, yep. Yeah. They did this at the beginning of the week too. All the players calling out the answers. Much quicker than any of us expected they would. Back, we got back, we got per act. And we're looking for the end of the cut. Absolutely. 75 points you start with today. In technical terms, we call that a scorcher. Let's see if you can do one. Good luck. It's a what am I? I am a thing with eight letters. 90 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. I am seen on many farms and fields. I am made of grass that has been cut and dried. I supply fodder for animals. I literally mean hey. a pile of hay. First letter H, second letter A. Haystack. Y S T A C K. Haystack. Haystack is here. Concentrate. Whatever letters lit up red, you've got to hit the next letter, OK? Not to worry. 49 points you start with today. Oh. We'll be back. Make sure you are. Amazing. On Home and Away. What is it? It's very here. Look. Marilyn's chance for a future child under threat. All this pain and suffering for a child who may never be born. Plus, has a doll bludger finally been caught? Thanks for dogging me in. Home and Away, tonight at 7. So, you think I look new? I've been round the block a few times. First I was Peter's, then Sarah's, then came Andrew. New Cuddly Extra Care's unique formula. Penetrates deeply, smoothing and conditioning fibres. New Cuddly Extra Care in three rich fragrances keeps clothes looking newer, longer. At this rate, I could live forever. Careful, children, when you mix a cheeseburger, small fries and Coke together, you get a McDonald's Happy Meal surprise! To celebrate Disney's new movie, Flubber, you get a toy to collect each week. Bestie Bird. And Weebo! There's Weber! And a professor! So get ready to be flabbergasted with McDonald's 295 at Premium! Can your child swim? Learning to swim is a skill for life. Swimming is fantastic recreation for all ages. Learning to swim increases your child's safety and is a great way to stay healthy and enjoy the outdoors. For your child, learning to swim will provide an experience both challenging and extremely rewarding. Learning to swim will not only put a smile on your child's face, it will build water skills and confidence. Children continue to drown in Australia every year. OzSwim is the organisation responsible for training quality swimming teachers. Make sure your child's teacher is qualified with OzSwim. Look for the OzSwim platypus. For more information, contact your state office of OzSwim. That's what happens when you try and get a couple of quick lessons in. Thanks for your help anyway. Not to worry. Hey, check it out. Check it out. We've got Tom, Tim, Tan. Tom, Tom, 75 seconds. You're looking for the letters of backpack in your half of the maze. To your starting position, please. 49 seconds, a little bit less time. You will have to wait for 26 seconds before you can go in. Once you're in there, Tim, you're looking for the letters of haystack. Good luck to your starting position, please. Go!
The crowd revving up in the background today. A very important day's play. 113 points separating our teams. And I'm predicting that whoever does the maze run, the key run at the end of the day, will take the major prize back to their school. Tom with a head start at 26. That has now depleted and Tim's going in to find Letters. The Letters are Haystack, in fact. He's representing Vienna Woods. Looking for the Letters of Haystack. 40 seconds left on the clock. We cross now to Tom, who's from. Grace Lutheran, he's looking for the letters of backpack. Companion schools, I don't think I've mentioned them today. For Vienna Woods in green, the Companion School, Maryvale in Victoria. Good luck to you guys. And for Grace Lutheran in the yellow, the Companion School there, Minto in New South Wales. Good luck to you also. Under 20 seconds left on the clock. Eight letters available here. 80 points up for grabs. Grace Lutheran with a nifty little lead already. Penguins belly opens, and out comes the booty. Time's up. This is going off very shortly. It certainly is, James. Today's the day. One school winner sensational prize from Encyclopedia Britannica. The same expertise used in the printing of Britannica is now available in this compact disc form. With a 44 million word database, it's no wonder this has been the leading source of reference material for over 200 years. Only from Encyclopedia Britannica. A P, a K, there's your pack. C, A, B, K, there's your back. All letters, 80 points. <laughs> and can you tell the crowd are a little bit excited? Your word was? Haystack. Haystack, a C, an H, a K, an S, a T, a Y, an A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Missing one, not to worry. 70 points there. That's cool. That's cool. 119, 155. Second round of time zone here, chance to make up some ground. Good luck to you both. Your time zone question is a what am I? I am a thing with nine letters. 90 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. I am used to see things otherwise out of sight. I am a long tube with mirrors. I am sometimes used Here's by the... people. Yes. <laughs> These guys are just incredible. better on the keyboard this time. Very well done. 64 points for you. Yeah. Good luck. Your second time zone question. It's a who am I? I am a saint with nine letters. A saint. Nine letters. 90 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. I'm an early Italian saint. I'm commemorated on February 14th each year. I was regarded as the patron saint of lovers. On my day, sweethearts send cards, chocolates and flowers. Valentine. That's the one, the Valentine. St Valentine, February 14. And I love you too. Valentine, four minutes go. Time, T-I-N. And the last letter is... That one. Melissa. Doing that awkwardly, very nice work. Uh, you were looking to beat 64, you did it by one. 65. <laughs> 70, 37 points. 37 points in it. We've got a letter on coming up. That could all change. Stay with us. <laughs> Amazing. Tonight. You should start on Glumpkies. It's hard to put the brakes on. It's not the brakes I'm worried about. It's your full tank of gas. Tim's letting fly with more disasters than ever before. Let's roll! A home improvement that rocks. 7.30 tonight on 7. With the things your kids are getting up to every day, it's essential they get enough calcium for strong bones. Vitasoy Calci Plus contains the extra calcium your kids need. They'll love the taste, and you'll love the fact that it's low in fat and contains no cholesterol or lactose. So give them Vitasoy Calci Plus, the healthy choice for growing bones. If you knew what was best for you, you'd drink Vitasoy too. 
Yo, my name's Toby Mac, and I provide the rap for this posse, G. My name is Kevin. Kevin K. And I give it the rock go, that it needs. Go. My name go, is Michael go. Tate, and I'm bringing the soul to this party. Oh, that equals right. rap, rock, and soul. Together we make DC Talk. Yeah. People think it's like a boxed up kind of life where you, go you to can't church, do this, you, like you this can't do time, that. That's not it, man. It's a freedom. It's, it's a freedom in Christ. Welcome back to Amazing, the sportsman's game. Amazing, yes, we have a sports, sports-minded people all over the show and it's really good to see. Melissa, 65 seconds, an extra second, one whole second to find the letters of Valentine. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Uh, to find the letters of Valentine in your half of the maze, okay? 64 seconds for you, Carleen, to find the letters of Periscope in your half of the maze. One second separating you. I wish you both the best of luck. Very important maze run, but I don't want to put any pressure on you, okay? <laughs> okay, to your starting positions, please. One second, the difference, Melissa. Go now. Go now, then. Go, go. One second separating them. And this maze run is typical of the, the, uh, the week that we've had here, really, I guess you'd say. Only 113 points separating our teams after four days' play. And this maze run, only one second separating them. It's been a good week of play. It's about to finish. But not without some excitement, let me tell you that. We've got 40 seconds left in this maze run. Finding letters. At this stage, Grace Luderman holding a lead. A fairly good lead. But I know that Vienna was going to work hard in this maze run to try and come back a bit before the computer challenge. You can see Lynn working hard there. Melissa working equally hard. She knows that Vienna Woods have got the determination, pushing them to get them up there. 15 seconds left. Melissa and Lynn are going to change over about the same time moving through the maze, so there you go. They're working equally as hard. Melissa to maintain the lead, Lynn to break it down. Well, they're going to be exhausted at the end of the day, but there's some consolation. Yes, we'll give them all something, actually. All players receive a free Super Session Pass to any of the 50 time zone stores around Ives. And this pass allows you to play games free for two hours. Plus, you can dabble in diamonds and fiddle in finance while playing a fun and frantic billionaire game for crowded Andrews. Plus, you also get five new release novels from Random House. Read them, then write your next book review for school. Plus, this very cool baseball cap that'll turn ordinary kids into cool legends. From the very cool people at Billabong. Terrific stuff, terrific stuff. Let's count some letters here. The word was... Valentine. There is an N, there is an E, there is a T, there is an L, there is an A, another E, Valentine, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six letters, 60 points. A total of two across to this side of the room. The word was... Periscope. <laughs> okay. There is an E in Periscope. There is another E at the end of Periscope. A P at the beginning. An O, a C, an R, an S. Another P. Periscope. <laughs> yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighty points. Oh. Seventeen points separating them. Computer challenge time. The whole week's come down to this. Donkey Kong Country, we are playing. You're going to play first, Tim. In 75 seconds, you need the most bananas. If you do that, you go in looking for keys. The major prize up for grabs, OK? Tim, grab the control pad. 75 on the clock. Press the start button now. He's away, Donkey Kong Country. It has all come down to this. Everyone watching, this is it. The computer challenge will put one team or the other. Not the start that you would have wanted, Tim, but that's OK. Stay calm, Tim. Stay calm. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. Very important. Down to 50 seconds. Collecting bananas, the trick here. Yeah, there's the bonus. One bonus there. Picking up the uh, Donkey Kong. Having a bit of trouble getting that one. Finally got Diddy Kong out. That's good. That gives, uh, gives Tim the half-life that he would have wanted in that first section there. Losing Donkey Kong. Still has Diddy Kong. It's still OK. Still able to move on. These apes cannot be beaten by Diddy Kong. Hits the explosive barrel there. Passes the Donkey Kong opportunity. Bananas. Collect bananas. Up onto the rhino. Is he going to get on the rhino? Is he? Yeah. Vienna Wood. Coming down to the 10 second mark. There it is now. Bonus Bananas coming up. That's good news. 
Lynn gives Tim a smile. She starts clapping. Keep playing, Tim. Keep playing till the clock stops. Don't listen to the crowd. He keeps running. And he goes down the ravine at the end there. Not the start you would have wanted, but you recovered very, very well. In 75 seconds, you collected 84 bananas. That's a pretty hefty total. We have had better on the show. We have had less on the show. Let's see what you can do right now, Tom. 75 seconds you have. You're looking for 85 bananas. If you do it, you're going in looking for keys. Good luck to you, Tom. 75 on the clock. Press the start button now. Donkey Kong Country. Tom had the advantage over Tim. He got to watch the way Tim played. And... Um, he knows where the bonuses are and how to get them and everything. Using up a bit of time here, but he's got them. He hasn't had that bad start that Tom had. Oh, it's still very early in this computer challenge. Tom moving through at a fairly rapid pace, taking out the gorillas, going past all the opportunities for points. He doesn't care. He wants bananas. He wants 80-something bananas to win. And uh, Lynn scratching her chin. Lynn from Vienna was watching on. The opposition team, she's watching and she scratched her chin. Now they've made it to this stage. A very even game. We're up to 79 bananas. We've still got about 30 seconds left. The crowd should tell us a story. Collect some more bananas. He's taking notes. He's taking a dive there today. I want you to note this because the computer's got to reset. He can go back and collect more bananas. If he went to the finish, he would eat up too much time going to the next segment and he wouldn't be able to collect any more bananas. Here he has been able to collect more bananas. We're up into the 90s now. The crowd having a bit of a cheer. How many are we going to go? How fast can you go here? Oh, no. Not sure how to do the clap, but anyway. Here's the fact, 95 bananas you got. So we'll give you 25 points on the computer challenge. 50 points for you in the computer challenge. Our winners today, Grace Lutheran. Very nice work. You played so well. It was right there, right to the very end. Not to worry, 288 points going towards the school title. We'll see what that means very shortly. We're about to do the key one. I'm so excited. Key run with Grace Lutheran after the break. <laughs> Scorching into our summer of tennis, the world's best, burning, inspired. Counting down to the first Grand Slam of 1998. Live from White City, the Adidas International continues on 7 Sport. New Kellogg's Honey Rice Bubbles. <laughs> now, with the taste of honey. There's only seconds left and the scores are tied. Australia has possession. Liz Ellis wants to get the ball away as quickly as possible. But there's been a fumble. Recovered, interception, one back, lost. Carissa Toombs has the ball. As major sponsors of Netball Australia, Fisher and Paykel is interested in the next test and the next batch of champions. It's in. Vicky Wilson has done it for Australia and the bench is going wild. Kellogg's Honey Rice Bubbles. <laughs> now, with the taste of honey. I can see you with my fingers, I can see you with my toes. And when I hold you close to me, I see you with my nose. Shiny Lee lost both eyes to tumours when she was just five months old. She's received weekly cane training from the Guide Dog Association since she was three. Her big dream is to one day have a guide dog of her very own. You can help the Guide Dog Association make dreams come true by sending your donation today. And when I hold you close to me, I see you with my nose. Oh, it's all a blur to you at home, yes indeed. But let me tell you right here on Amazing, we could very well be giving away these in just a few moments because we have seven keys planted in the maze. Each one is worth 100 points. One of them is also the bonus key for everyone at home. This is the one it is today and where it is located. If that key is situated, Mark, describe this for us, please. All right, it's a little box in that. No, it's from leaders in handheld mind-stretching games, Nintendo, the totally awesome Game Boy. Clear, coloured and compact Game Boy is a pocket-sized game system you can enjoy anywhere, anytime. So never leave home without your own personal Game Boy from Nintendo. Nintendo. Guys, I've got to tell you something. 330 points you scored today. I believe that is an amazing record. So very well done on your scores today. Let's see if you can find seven keys and set another record. Who'd like to start the run? 
to your starting position, please. Two minutes on the clock, Melissa. Tom, keep an eye on her from here. Go! She's away. We're looking for... Oh, a new chair going up from the crowd. We are looking for... 7 keys. Each key worth 100 points. The bonus key bringing out the Game Boys. Oh, and if you noticed earlier, I made a reference to a Queen song. They're doing another one now. They're doing We Will Rock You, which uh, I think's off the same album as Bohemian Rhapsody again. So, well, it's a good album. Let me tell you, if you haven't got it, go out and buy it. Do yourself a favour, as the famous Australian music guru would say. Coming down the 82nd mark, the third of the time gone, we've got one key. One key for Grace Lutheran. Tom finding the first key, the singular, the non-plural. The solo key. Coming down the 72nd mark, he needs to find a second one. Actually, I stand corrected. That's Melissa. Hard to tell when they're in the same pose, comments, that sort of thing. But it is Melissa, there you go. See, she's got the long hair, Tom's got the short hair. Ah, uh, half time. We've passed that. Less than 60 seconds on the clock. Melissa's still with only one key. What's she doing? Leaning over, leaning back, turning around. Off she goes. Up onto the um, green ladder, the trunk, the chest. She's looking, looking, looking. Can't find that second key. It is eluding her. Where may it be? 30 seconds left on the clock. Nearly. Well, by the time I finish this sentence, it will be because a quarter of the time remaining. Number two. 30 seconds. There you go. See? End of the sentence. Coming down the fireman's pole. Tom's not going to get a lot of time in the maze, if any at all. That's OK. Melissa struggling with the back door. Not really legal. If you came out the window, Melissa, we would have let that go. But hey. Not this time. 15 seconds left now. Up at the famous. Don't worry about it, Melissa. Come on. Come on. 10 seconds left. Oh, drops one. Tom grabs it. He continues on. I've got two. And that's it. Tom, 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 Tom. Quick, 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 quick. Hey, nice work, nice work. Three keys. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. OK, bonus key is what we're looking for right now. We've got one. We've got four. We've got six. The bonus key number today is number seven, and it's situated in the... Um, there, the phone pit. See? See that? OK, the phone pit. Not to worry. Number seven in the phone pit. You've got three keys, 300 points, going towards Grace Lutheran's score. This is the scoreboard. Our winners today. Grace Lutheran, 455. You had it won before that maze run, but that means that our runners up today, Vienna Woods, Mark. Yes, James, well done, Vienna Woods. You now have a world-class Britannica Atlas to add to your school library. This superb 288-page full-colour reference source is ideal for projects and an excellent source of material for lecturettes. It comes to you from the library that's always open, Encyclopedia Britannica. Britannica. Absolutely. Thank you very much, guys. And a pleasure having you along great week's play. Companion schools, please, Mark. What do they get? James playing along with Vianna Woods were Merivale from Victoria and they receive an educational nature video from the eyewitness range. These exceptional videos are informative and so easy to learn from. And Grace Lutheran's companion girl Minto from New South Wales have won five assorted educational videos from the Discovery series. With titles like Great White, The Fall of Saigon and Flight Over the Equator, these are videos to explore your world. Both prizes from Rope Show Entertainment. Entertainment. Fantastic, and thank you to our companion schools for joining us. Interesting point, two Game Boys each team, so a very even week's play. But somebody came out on top. It just happened to be Grace Lutheran, our winners. Yes, congratulations to Grace Lutheran. You now have the major prize, the complete Encyclopedia Britannica on CD-ROM. Of all the computerised encyclopedias available today, none can match the Britannica CD in breadth of knowledge, quality of information and capability of research tools. Valued at only $2,000, it comes to you from Encyclopedia Britannica. Thank you very much. The wonderful week's play. Thank you to all our players. Good to have you along. Next week, next week, more schools, more players, more companion schools joining us. We've got a Gumdale. They grow strawberries there. And Yandina, they grow ginger there. I know, I've been to both places. Make sure you're here with us on Amazing next week and you can meet the guys who live in those particular places. See ya. James dressed in Headworks clothing. All players dressed by Rebel Rag. I want him to receive cool drinks from Prima and yummy music bars from Daydor. Need the goss on any of Seven's shows? Drop into www.seven.com.au. It's all there. Total Recall is coming up next. This has been a Seven Star concept production for the Seven Network.
7 o'clock tonight, Home and Away at 7.30 Home.